What's going on everybody? This is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. Today I'd like to take a look at our month ahead. We're going to look at May, May 2019. What's coming up for this next month? There's a lot going on in the news, it seems, always, and so we're going to see what's going to be percolating for us. Uh, we're going to look at politics, the media, news, we're going to look at the southern border, what's going on there, and just kind of pull it all together and see what next month might be bringing us. So, all right, without further ado, I'm going to shuffle up the cards and we'll get started. So, the first thing we're going to look at, what's going to be happening in the realm um, of politics, in the realm of of the political. Let's take a look at this. We've got the anxiety card. We have the nine of swords. Anxiety card and then the obstacle. We're gonna look at the situation the obstacle. Obstacle for this is endings. So the anxiety card is a powerful card of stress, worry, um, losing sleep at night, and to have that on politics, uh, there could be some politicians or people in that realm centered around politics, around the political field. Um, maybe not necessarily politicians, but people maybe around the, maybe the Department of Justice or other places we may see. But we've got the anxiety card and the endings. This is a card of things coming to an end. And it, I don't think it's the anxiety coming to an end. I think it's <laughs> something ending. That's the obstacle causing the anxiety. So that's going to be interesting to see what that looks like in the month of May. Um, there may be some people, and we've kind of seen rumblings of it the last couple months. So there are some people that might find themselves in hot water. Uh, looks like that's going to come to a boil. Okay. So um, next... Uh, society, media, what's going to be in the news? What's kind of going on there? Now we have the queen, queen of pentacles, keyword kindness on her. She's generous, genuine. I probably didn't leave that up very long. Queen of pentacles. Uh, now sometimes queens can refer to a specific person, sometimes just a general idea. Um, but it's crossed with the justice card. So we may be seeing the queen representing possibly some type of leadership um, and justice coming into play somehow. So, and that may tie into what's happening politically with the anxiety and the endings. Um, perhaps there's some justice involved uh, so may get kind of dicey for some people, I think, because we've seen, like I said, some rumblings in that area and, um, looks like that's going to carry over and be spilling into the news, kind of the society end of things. So next let's look at the Southern border. Um, now this is kind of interesting to me because we have the wheel of fortune. We have two major arcanas sitting on this one. The Wheel of Fortune representing the situation at the border, which this is a card of like destiny, fate, things bound to happen. Um, things that are, that are set in motion that no one can stop, okay? Now it's crossed with the death card. Transformation, big change. So when you have a card of fate crossed by change, um, oh, I, you know, that's... I'm gonna have to think about that one because there's something big at the border and fate with that type of major change. Look to see some major changes at the border. Um, perhaps moving, I don't know if they're gonna move troops. I, I know that there's talk about different ways to combat the illegal immigration, um, the drug trafficking and all of that. Um, but something is set in motion that's not easily stopped and it has to do with fate and 
big, big, big transformational change. So we'll see. Keep our eyes on the border because there may be some big news coming out of there this next month. Um, now, we have the chariot, the movement card, falling into the past. Um, now, there has been a lot of movement um, around the political, especially, and around the border. A lot of talk around those two issues. Um, so, as I'm looking at this card, let you see it here, the card of movement. I'm kind of feeling like this, this, uh, this right left divide, you know, they always say, um, keep your, keep people divided and then they will fight against each other and they won't fight the real things they need to be fighting. <laughs> um, the real people behind the scenes that are pulling the strings, right? Keep, keep people pitting against each other and then they're easier to manipulate. Um, I kind of see parting of the ways and I'm gonna sit with this I'll be right back so I'm seeing some message coming through with the divide and conquer tactics and I'm I'm I think that there may be some healing coming into play with regard to this divide and conquer, where left has been pitted against right, Democrat against Republican. I almost sense that because this is falling in the path, what I'm seeing is that divergence. And okay, I'll show you what I'm seeing. So as you see the chariot master in the back, there's ropes around the necks of each of these you know, these <laughs> seahorses. And this guy is like cracking the whip. And they're going in different directions. It's like, and it's like they're pushing forward, pushing them to go forward and d further make that divide. Okay. But what I'm sensing is an awareness coming in to both sides, okay? Notice how they're joined down here. I almost sense that this drive to push in the United States, because that's where I live, but this drive in the media to push people apart, to push, to drive a wedge between people and to, to drive that identity politics and keeping people on the left-right paradigm and all of that, to keep people divided. I almost get a sense that there is something that is, that, that, that there is something bringing that oneness back. Um, I'm not trying to be like hopeful here. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing in this, in this card that, that, that there's almost like an awareness in the, <laughs> in the one seahorse. Okay. This is just the imagery I'm getting that is seeing what's being done, that this person back here is actually causing, pushing us and causing us to hate each other and to divide each other. And we're actually, we're actually brother and sister. We're actually joined down here. And it's somebody, it's another force that's telling us to hate each other. Does this make sense? Um, I'm sensing that there's an awareness happening that the divide and conquer isn't isn't going to hold as much sway anymore. I have a I have a sense that there's an awareness coming on each side that says, wait a minute, we're we're being manipulated to to do this. We're being pushed and we're not being authentically ourselves. And I think that there is an awareness of who is actually doing that. And that it's that maybe instead of fighting each other or or actually dividing these two, that they're actually looking at going, he's the one dividing us. That's what I'm seeing in this card, okay. Um, 
The next card is on the position of the future. What's coming up? We have the Knight of Wands, the activity card. Now, this card came up in the last reading I did. <laughs> but there's something with uh, Knight of Wands or Messengers telling us that they're, and with the keyword activity, that there is a lot going on possibly behind the scenes. But there's, I, I sense like a new, a new, a newness coming in. So I don't know what what this is, I, and it's facing back toward the chariot card. So I think there's there's some new energy coming in. That's it feel it feels nice. It feels good. It feels like an like this a little bit of an awakening or some type of self awareness or coming into a greater understanding of the dialectics that are happening in our world. Um, an activity coming in on the future with that. It feels, it has a nice energy to it. Um, outcome card. We have an, we have another messenger. This is a page and it's an opportunity. The outcome is an opportunity. We have, it's an opportunity on the, um, pentacles card, page of pentacles. This is like new opportunities for growth and success. And this feels also positive that in this position of the outcome, that there is an opportunity to maybe let go of some of those fear-based, darker forces and to embrace something a little higher, higher mind. Underneath this whole thing, we have the king. King of Pentacles. I get the King of Pentacles a lot in reference to Donald Trump. It seems to come up a lot with him. Keyword there is trust. So I'm wondering if there is either trust being restored or asking people to trust or to have faith. Um, but this, uh, this feels, other than the political, which looks to be that anxiety and that endings, and being in the news with that justice bringing balance, it's like through it all, there's that, there's an awakening happening, I think. Some type of an awareness coming into play. And I think it's going to lead us if we're, if people are willing to let go of the fear. And so through it all, I think there's going to be some awakening and some good things coming through what may look as craziness at the outset. Um, so I think that's all I've got for this. Um, we'll see what happens in our month ahead. But there's, a, there's quite a mix of things happening, things going on. But I think we have the opportunity to take the best and awaken to a higher way of being. So that's good news. All right. Um, if you like to leave a like, this is Intuitive Edge. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.